Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing like a Great Gatsby 21st appropriate theme kind of makeup look because that's where I'm going to tonight. I thought I'd do another get ready with me since my other one was so good like everyone seemed to really enjoy that one. Um, but yeah. So let's get ready together again. Don't worry about the music playing in the background. I'm just getting into the groove. You know, you just gotta get into the groove sometimes. So I'm just priming my lips with some lip um, moisturizer, like chapstick. I love to use this Blistex lip conditioner because it really helps to get my lips nice and moist. Ready for the lipstick later on. So to prime my face first, I'm going in with my Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer to plump up my skin so it's nice and moist and tacky for the foundation that we'll be applying on top. And I just want a nice moisturized base today. Mm, literally just smells like summer. Like, oh, I love this moisturizer. Primer. So for foundation today, I'm going in with my Matte and Poreless Creamy Beige Foundation because I want it to last all night. And I might mix it with a slightly tanner foundation. I haven't decided yet. We'll just see how we go. So I'm like fighting against the sunlight right now. I swear I always do my makeup su like super late. <laughs> that guy's revving his engine. But, um, so I always do my makeup, like, super late. Like, I've only, I think it starts at 7 and it's, like, 5.30 now, so. I'm loving daylight saving, though. Like, this extra time with sunlight is so good. Like, I can actually do get ready with me. It's because I have enough sunlight to actually do it. But it's going to go a little bit quicker today. By the way, I do have a top on. It's just strapless because I'm doing, like, stuff with my chest and I just don't like fiddling with the straps, so. Just so you know, honey, I'm not here sitting, you know, in the nude in front of my window for everyone to see. <laughs> no. For concealer, I'm going to go in with my Instant Age Rewind Concealer. <laughs> what else? And I'm applying this underneath my eyes and priming my lids and concealing any breakouts or things. But today, I think my skin's pretty good. So, I think I'll just do the eyes today. We'll see. I always like to prime the inner part of my eye the most. Like, when I conceal, I always focus it on the inner corner. Because that's where the most darkness can tend to be. So, I always focus it there and just kind of buff out wherever extra, you know, buff out the rest to the outer out bits. And because I'm in a rush today, I'm just going to use this brush to buff out the edges of that concealer that I put down there and like on my nose a little bit and of course on this nice big pimple on my face. It's so cute. Just what I want. To set the concealer in place, I'm going in with my Eclipse Blur Powder packed in the shade 21 to set the concealer in place on a just a dry beauty sponge with a flat edge to it to really kind of pack it on and I'm like baking but sort of not baking kind of thing so like I just press the powder into my face I know guys I'm not actually um, putting that cream highlighter on today I'm going for more of like a less glowy look and more like kind of like that old glam where it was more matte like I'm still going to use shimmer and stuff because it's me like I freaking love shimmer but I'm going for more, like, less less glowy skin today, I guess, like we could say. I'm just using whatever excess is on that beauty sponge to press onto the rest of my face. To saturate a little bit. But because I got a matte and pore foundation, I should be good for the night, you know. This is just, like, an extra measure. But that colour, it's probably a little bit, like, light. But I can always just, you know, bronze up the skin and whatnot but it's pretty good. Then I'm just taking my Scandinavia finishing spray to set that powder in place. It just gets rid of that excess cakiness, you know, when you can get a bit heavy handed on the powder or it's just sitting on the skin. It just helps it to melt and look like skin. So I'm going to first do my brows off camera really quickly because it's the same routine, nothing new and I'm just in a bit of a rush. So I'll be back in a sec guys. Well, I'm back, the brows are okay. We did our best in a short period of time, so let's go on to the eyes really quickly. This is the more complicated part part of the look. So what I've seen on like, you know, like um Pinterest and things is they got like a highlighted inner corner and then it kind of it's like an elongated eye kind of shape, like an almond eye. So I'm gonna kind of replicate that today and just play around with a few shadows. I'm wearing like a nudie kind of movie outfit today, so I wanna kind of use nudes in the eyes because it'll be like nude accessories and stuff so it's gonna be like a nude movie eye-ish kind of thing <laughs> I will see how we go 
So I'm taking my transition colour today. This will be the transition. I know it's pretty much used a lot. And I'm just taking it on my 228 fluffy crease brush. It's super fluffy so it's going to apply the colour super sheer. I'm just going to whack this from inner to outer corner, focusing it on the outer part of my eye. Because we are elongating the eye, I'm dragging it out a little bit. So just connecting it to the corner of my eye and just kind of flicking it up to the tail of my brow. Mapping out our eye shape. So because I think I want like a plummy purpley eye look, like nudie purpley eye look, I'm not sure at the moment, but I do want to go in with wisteria, that's what I do know. So I'm going to take this purpley mauvey colour um, from Makeup Geek and applying this with a soft crease brush. I think this is the 221. I'm just going to whack this through the crease from outer to inner corner, just below where we placed that transition shade. I'm just kind of following that shape that we did before, so just kind of extending it out towards the tail of the brow slightly. Don't you just love the afternoons, like when you can hear all the birds chirping and going, going to bed and everything? It's so, so beautiful, especially with the sun setting. It's so pretty. Next off, I'm taking Bitten. Is this Bitten? Yeah, I'm taking Bitten from Makeup Geek on a petite crease brush, and I'm just going to whack this through the same area from outer to inner corner and bring it a bit more, like, lower down. I'm always doing, like, little circular windscreen wiper motions. Just whatever feels kind of natural. And I'm just taking some of Wisteria and softening those edges. So once it's kind of like buffed out like so kind of thing, we're going to take a deeper like plummy brown shade. So I'm actually going to mix it with these this um, other purple as well. So I'm going to mix these two colours together and apply it in the outer corner and through the crease with a gloss pencil brush. And I'm still keeping it to that almond shape like they're having Great Gatsby. So like kind of like wing it out a little bit. So just not too far, just like drag it out a little bit. It's probably a better word. Smoking it out a little bit. And taking Bitten again. I'm just going to buff out those edges. And then again, we're going to take some of Wisteria. and buffing out the edges of Bitten. Next, I'm going to mix some of um, Shimmer Shimmer and Ice Queen together. And I'm going to pack this from inner corner all the way to like about where that purple is. Like that plummy shades are. To like lighten up the lid. Create that almond shape look. I'm wanting it to be a bit more like of Shimmer Shimmer and a bit less of Ice Queen. Ice Queen's kind of just lightening it up a little bit, but yeah, I think I wanted a bit more Shimmer Shimmery. Then taking Bitten and some of those two like plummy shades from the 35W palette, I'm just gonna like help Shimmer Shimmer and Ice Queen blend into that outer corner. I'm just taking it through the crease lightly, just above. Shimmer Shimmer and Ice Queen and also on the edges of where they meet. And then just taking some of that really deep browny Palomi shade I'm just going to pack it on to the very outer part of the eye. And just grabbing a bit of Bitten and using very, very light little packing, like swiping motions. Just using it to transition it. Voila! I'm just going to quickly apply some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back, honeybee. So the lashes I went in with today are the Icona lashes from their Midnight Collection in the shade Make Him Miss Me. I love these because they're short on the inner corner and really long on the outer corner so they make that elongated eye shape. So I've already applied a black eye curl to my tight line and waterline and now I'm going to take Wisteria from Makeup Geek and apply this nice and tightly against my lash line with my petite crease brush. And I'm just focusing it on my outer corner and blending it in towards the inner corner. Making sure to always connect it to that like eyeshadow on the top. Next I'm taking those two like plummy purpley shades and I'm wiggling them really tightly against my lash line with a definer brush. Then I'm taking Bitten on my gloss pencil brush and buffing that out. And then for my inner corner highlight I'm going to go in with Shimmer Shimmer and White Lies again and apply this on my inner corner and also on my inner corner lash line to really open up the eyes. This time taking more of white lies than I would shimmer shimmer. I'm also going to highlight my brow bone with those shades a little bit. And all that's left is to apply some bottom lash mascara. 
and the eyes are complete. Oh, it's getting a little bit dark. Hopefully you guys can still see. Let me just switch to manual. So I wasn't recording, but basically all I've done is added some bronzer to the contours of my face, my forehead, nose. I'm going to add some to my jawline and also I'm down my neck and a bit on my body as well. To contour, I'm going in with this breakup um, contour powder from Makeup Geek and just contouring with a fan brush. And of course, can't forget the nose. I'm going to soften it with my Beauty Blender. For blush, I'm going to take what else but my infatuation blush from Makeup Geek because the Great Gatsby, they're quite like rosy cheeks. I'm actually going to apply this on the apples and bring it back along my contours. Oh yeah, that rosy glow. For highlight, I'm going to take my Violet Voss palette and grab Moon Gleam and just do like a light dusting of this on the high points of my face. Nothing too crazy for this look. And finally, I'm going to spritz my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. That should stay on that long. <laughs> for lips, I'm thinking like something a bit like mauvey pink, like a nudie pink. So I'm going to take my Pale Plethora lips, Liquid Lipstick from Zueva and I'm going to apply this to my lips. And then over top, because I want a bit of a glossy lip and a bit a bit more nuder. So I went over top with my 3D Effect Bonjourous Paris Lip Gloss in the shade Rose Romantic. And this is the finished makeup look, guys. So this, guys, completes my Great Gatsby, like, 21st birthday party. Just birthday party in general. You know, any really, you can wear this makeup out to dinner. You can wear it anywhere if you want to. It's up to you, babe. But... Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry about the lighting going a bit dark at the end. But we are finished. We made it through. You can see the finished look. So it's all good. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you want to, you can subscribe right here. Down below. So it's free. And you can keep up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. Otherwise, have an awesome day, guys. And thanks for watching. Bye.